Hey Tarot Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and talk about the Anima Mundi Tarot. Um, this is an independently published deck by um, Megan uh, Wyridden. I think I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, I apologize if I butchered it. Um, but it's a beautiful um, tarot deck that is that many people consider an animal tarot deck. Um, there are no representations of humans in this deck, um, but it does follow the Rider White uh, Smith system. So yeah, let's dive into it. The deck comes in this really nice two-part box that is um, super sturdy. It has some gilding um, for the deck name. Um, the artwork on it is um, it's pretty simplistic. There's really nothing on the sides or the back. Um, when you open it up <clears throat> on the inside, um, it says, May the Spirit of the Earth Guide Your Way, which is really nice. It's got the infinity symbol and some more of those rose mo motifs. The sides of the inner box have um, each of the symbols of the suits of the deck on the inside, which I love. I love the pinnacle style in this deck. Um, it does come with a little white book, and the little white book is actually pretty decent. It has um, some spreads in the beginning. Um, it's all very sort of short and to the point, um, so it's a good place to start if, um, you know, you're not super familiar um, and it's a good sort of reference to have um, it does have a lot of the different meanings of the animals that are associated with um, the the cards which is really great and I'll just read um, the intro here it says tarot cards are an old tradition dating as far back as the 14th century. In their earliest forms, they were used as playing cards by Italian nobles and later evolved into tools of divination by around the 18th century. Tarot cards today, as they did centuries ago, tell a story of human of the human experience and are, and are used as a journey into the unconscious. The nature inspired de this nature inspired deck was based off of the Rider White deck from 1910 and includes 70 individual cards which are originally painted in 2017 with acrylic paint. It was divided into two sections, the Major Arcana 22 cards and the Minor Arcana 56 cards. The Major Arcana cards, which are archetypal cards, are the trump cards of the deck and hold the most sway in reading. Pay extra attention when one appears in the spreads. The Minor Arcana cards relate to everyday living. They are divided into four suits, each representing a different aspect of life. Pentacles, finances, material possessions, swords, the mind, logic, conflict, wands, uh, creativity and ambition, the cups, emotions, relationships, and intuition. So um, it is, you know, fairly simplistic, but like I said, it's cool because uh, each of the cards, the, the animal or the plant um, that is depicted on it is... Um, is listed and then it gives you a little divinatory meaning and then it also gives you um sort of you know the the background of um the upright and reversal sort of keywords which is nice um so the deck itself on the inside of the box you just get a little floral motif um which is nice and then the deck itself is gilded it has this antique gold gilding which I freaking love it is so nice um, it's you can tell it's not like super duper shiny most of that is actually just glare from the camera um, but yeah it's really nice the cardstock itself is a linen finish so very much similar to a, a set of like bicycle playing cards if you're familiar with those um, I, this is my all-time favorite finish on cards hands down if you print a deck with this finish I will probably <laughs> buy it um, the backs are really nice um, they have this sort of rose motif in the background with the triple aspect of the moon on it and it is reversible so if you read reversals and that's important to you um, you can reverse it the flip through so we can get to it um, as I said there's no human figures in this deck um, it is based on an acrylic uh, it's, it's all from acrylic painting, which is really beautifully done. Um, 
even the the number and the writing is in a nice really like almost hand done calligraphy style which is really cool so the fool the magician the high priestess the empress the emperor Hierophant with his two his two keys, which I think is cool. The lovers. The chariot, which is a a ram, very Aries, which is an interesting choice. Strength is a beetle. The hermit is an octopus, which I just I think is fantastic. It's very fitting. You know, you don't really see um octopi i guess would be the plural um you know hanging out in groups and doing things so and, and they are they're really smart like they are very very wise and intelligent creatures wheel of fortune justice the hanged man which is a spider i hate spiders they're creepy <laughs> Death. I love this death card because it's the snake sh like shedding his old skin. Um, so you really get that sense of of completion of like one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, and less of that that sort of like gut wrenching um, sort of feeling that is stereotypical of the card. Temperance. This devil card is amazing. The, I love the whole idea of him being chained in this fetal position and you can see him like holding his head and it just really evokes those feelings you get when you're trying to move past like your inner demons or um, you know addictions things like that the tower so the volcano the star the moon with a cat hair. <laughs> the sun card is beautiful. Judgment. Which is a falcon. And the world. Which is a jungle. Which is beautiful. We get into our suits. So we have pentacles first. The ace of pentacles. I love the style of the pentacles in this deck. Our two of Pentacles, and the the um, the pip cards are very pippish, right? Which I like, but they still have you know representations of sort of um, Rider White Smith style things. Five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. A couple of beavers building a dam. Nine of Pentacles. And this Ten of Pentacles, which is just this happy like, wolf family, which I love. And we have our page for the court, which is a squirrel. Our knight, our queen, which is a doe and a bunny, <laughs> and our king, which is a bear. And the thing I really like about this deck and its um, its court cards is that they don't they don't all share the same um, like animal species the way you see it done in a lot of different animal decks. I think it's cool that the artist here chose. Um, different animals from different species to represent the different um, court cards. Swords. I love this two of swords. And there's so much subtle symbolism in all these cards, which is fantastic. This three of swords is beautiful. <laughs> like, wow. Four of Swords, 
which, you know, does tell the same story that we see in Red or White Smith, where, you know, the bird has pulled the swords out and is now resting, right? Five swords. You're just left with the feathers. Six of swords. Seven. Eight. Nine with the vulture. And ten. I'm just beautiful. Page. Just this butterfly, a monarch, her knight, her queen. I love this queen. First of all, I love owls. Owls are like my, my spirit animal. I have owls all around my room. <laughs> um, but I just, I love the, the, the look, right? It, it's very queen of swords. Um, on this owl's face, but you still get that sense of like wisdom and experience. And the King of Swords. Our Ace of Wands, which is gorgeous. Little mushrooms, very, I get like a very sort of um, German fairy tale vibe from this card. Our Two of Swords, or Two of Wands. I love the, the sound of these cards that they make when they move past one another. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Roadrunner. Perfect. Perfect animal representation for the Eight of Wands, in my opinion. You, like, what animal in the kingdom, you know, represents movement? Maybe, maybe a cheetah would have been appropriate, but the Roadrunner, I think, it's just it's it's too good. Nine, and ten, in the desert. Page, which is a salamander, our knight, which is a hare, queen, speaking of cheetahs, <laughs> and our king, which I think, I think that's a jackal? I'm not sure, I'll have to look that up in the book. Ace of Cups. I love this two of cups, seahorses, the perfect animal representation for, you know, love and relationships. Three with the seals. Four with the little hermit crab. Five of cups with the penguins. And this one's so sad because I think the little baby penguin has passed. <laughs> um, this is, I'm actually kind of curious. I'm gonna look this up in the book really quick. Cups, 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 cups. Five of cups. You've recently experienced loss or have. Yep. I guess it really doesn't describe the scene. It just says Emperor Penguin. But yeah. I think the little penguin, the baby, has, has gone. It's really sad. <laughs> Seven. Or sorry, six. I can't count. Seven, which is the jellyfish. And it's all the different types of jellies, you know, for all the different choices, which is great. Eight. With our seagull. Nine with our coral reef. And ten with the school. And I think the school of fish is just perfect for the ten of cups, right? Because a lot of people get hung up on the ten of cups with it, it being a platonic standard heterosexual family and it really it, it can mean any kind of family right or group of people right it could be you know if i was doing a, a reading for the tarot community and the ten of cups came up right that would represent you know the happiness and the fulfillment of all of the the tarot community as a whole not necessarily just you know a nuclear family um 
So I think the school of fish here is really great, right? Because there's lots of little different families of fish within the school, but together they make up this, this larger group. Our page, which is a, a little otter. I love otters. <laughs> Our knight, which is a dolphin, I believe. Our queen, which is a humpback whale. And our king, which is an orca, which is perfect for the cups. So yeah, that is the Anima Mundi deck. It is probably my favorite animal deck. It's not a deck that I've worked with a lot, um, just because I, you know, I'm focusing on other other decks and you know learning um, more about. Uh, Kabbalistic things and the Golden Dawn sort of uh, style of decks. So I'm spending a lot of time right now reading um, the Gil Tarot book and things like that. Um, but it is a deck that I really want to, you know, sit down and, and spend some time with. Not only because the art is just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, really well done um, acrylic paintings that are just stunning and it 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 seems really easy to read even though they're not your standard rws imagery um there's a lot of symbolism that's pulled in um but even the animals you know take um meaning within the cards which is great um definitely my favorite animal deck so far that i've gotten so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have the Anima Mundi deck, you know, let me know what are your thoughts. Do you do you love animal decks or do you prefer to have figures in your decks? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. And as always, remember everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about. So be kind, always. Have a great day, everybody.